Hey everybody, it's Valerie from ValerieWallsFineArts.com. Um, <laughs> here in Orno, Maine. And um, I'm in my basement studio and we're going to do a drawing of a lobster recommended by Becky Lopez Anito. Hey Bex, how are you? Go Becky, go. Um, and, you know, it's like a Maine thing. So, you know, if you want to be cool and be like you're from Maine, then you want to draw, know how to draw a lobster. Okay? Um, I don't think there's anything else. We ready to go? Yeah. This is more my normal, the fact that I can't believe normally I'm on time, but I, I'm now I'm starting to be late. One, three. Really who I am. Becky's not on yet. Becky's got to get on. She, well, She'll, she'll, she can catch she'll up. Pick it up. Okay. You probably want your paper to go Whoops. in the vertical way, the tall way. What do you call that? The hamburger way. No, okay? I think that's hot dog. No, hot dog is that way. Oh. Right? Hamburger's that way. That's a tall hamburger. <laughs> it's the kind where you have stuff stacked. A big neck. Um, okay, this is the thing I want you to notice. This, I folded my paper, this is, this is the middle of the paper. Can you see this? Yeah. Does that show? Okay. Yeah. Did this go down too much? Mm, oh, yeah, it looks a little uneven. Is it all right now? Sure, yeah. I just want to know if it's Oh, right Becky's here. on. Hey, Bats. Okay. <laughs> this is the middle of the paper, okay? So I want you to be thinking about the angle that you put the loss. It doesn't, obviously you could just put it straight up and down. Okay, but if you wanted to have this interesting little um, slant in the composition, the thing is, is that the the, um, the claws are huge. Like one claw is the size of the body, this part of the body, and this is half of the body. So I mean, they're really big. And if you put it in the wrong place, you won't have room for the claws. The claws are important. Okay, so that's the one thing I'm sort of giving you. And, and look at it. See how this one is pretty much straight up. And then has a little tilt at that side. That one's sitting over there on the side. That that's gonna make a difference. Okay. All right. I'm gonna take my um, warm red, my orangey red. If you want your lobster to be alive, you know, pink browns, red and green, red and green together will make you a brown. It will look a little more natural, like you're like it's alive. This is one for ready for eating. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna find the middle of my paper, which is about here. I'm gonna, I wanna know where the nose is. Here, so I'm gonna go up. That's probably pretty good. From the middle, go up a little bit. I'm gonna make a spot. Can you see that? Yeah. Obviously this is adjustable, but aim for that. I hate it when that's doing that. Okay. Okay, the other place I wanna mark is right, actually the end of the tail, where the tail's gonna go. Okay, so we want to mark here, we want to know where this is. And this is, is a, from here, about as far as you can get down in the corner without being too close. Okay, so give me just a little line like that. All right? Okay. The, the halfway point, this is the head, this is the tail, that's halfway. From the nose here, find the middle, that's like right about here. Okay? I'm going to do that again right here. I'm going to find the middle of my page. I'm going to go pretty much straight right up. Straight up. Make a little spot there. I'm going to go down in the corner and I'm going to make a line. A slanty line like looking at this direction. It doesn't even look like that wants to match up, does it? I have to go over this a little bit. Okay. And then between the dot and the tail, right about in the middle, that's where the that's where the body part is, the body and the tail. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right, so we'll, we'll just sort of round this out, connect this, these, these parts, kind of like this. And then we'll just go down to the tail like that for now. Okay? We'll just sort of sketch it in, and then we're going to put the claws and make sure everything is making sense. All right? Let's look at, um, let's do this one first, okay? So it has a nice, this is just a rectangle, right? Okay? Mm -hmm. And that is pretty close to the top of his head, and it goes, it's at a little bit of a slant like this. So it's not straight out, it kind of goes up a little bit. So you're going to make two lines kind of wide apart like that, okay? 
Now look at this. This piece of paper is bigger than this one. These two are the same size, so I can really c compare. But um, this is pretty much the same proportions, okay? So um, I can sort of look at how close it is to this, the back of his arm, or his paw, to the side of my paper, and be like, okay, I'm going to round this like that. Now what I want you to do before you go any farther is to measure the size of the um, torso. Torso? Abdomen? Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, and make sure that that's how big your claw is. Okay, because they're really, really big, and I do know that they're they're a little bit different. They don't they're not exactly the same, but that's what I know. Okay, and then the size of this arm is half of the claw, pretty much. Okay, so if I measure this, that should be about half. Okay, obviously it can move around like this, and they can be in different. What I want to do, instead of putting this piece on here, what I, see how it has a little piece like that? What I want to do is come up like that, then come out wide here, about halfway, and I want you to just make a little piece that goes in. Okay? Like a G. Like a Backwards. G. Six. <laughs> I guess there's no such thing as a G6. That's Did you know that? Um, well, I think I, I listened to... Um, what would it have been? Uh, Some kind of podcast. Thing. Oh, num how to make a hit or something? Maybe, yeah. And they were like, yeah, there really is no such thing. Because that was no, kind of maybe a hit. It was, um, yeah, no, no, maybe it was, um, it's something, it's a Slade podcast, Four, and it's Slade. called The Billboard something oh. with Chris Melanthi. Yeah, I think I've heard the commercials for it. And, oh, it's so good. So good. Really, she it's just fantastic. Answered. And anyway, um, I think they talk about it on that because he talks about all the hits. Yeah. But I don't know which one. Okay, so it's kind of like that. Looks kind of like a really funky seat too. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. Like from this, like, um, do you guys ever see the uh, chair that hung the from egg. the ceiling? Oh yeah. 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 Like in the seventies. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. Yeah. All right. I mean, what's the most important thing about the lobster? The claws. The claws. What is even more important than the claws? It's red. It's red. Oh, okay, okay, so we're going to make a red, like, um, insecty looking thing, and it's going to look like a lobster, because what else is it going to be? Unless you're making yours brown, and then yours might look like something else. But. Okay. And then this other thing. Notice that this it's kind of a long piece, but it's a little bit taller. So start it... You know, just bring that a line up like that, a little bit taller, has a little hook on there. I mean, not that we're doing this for the um, scientific journal on lobsters, but that's just one little, you know, more thought out piece. Okay, let's go do the other one. So you just try not to think about anything else, because then it'll realize, you'll realize how easy it really is. So this one's going, it's up near here, it's going like where my finger is, okay? And then the, I want to have a nice space here for my claw. Um... What might make sense, let's do this instead. Let's do the claw. Good job. I'm gonna do a nice curve like this. And then I'm gonna measure and make sure it's big enough. Okay? That way I can always attach the arm anywhere I want to. So better to get it in there, because you, you might not have enough room up there and so you wanna put it wherever, wherever you can fit it on there. Okay? Um, if we don't see the little piece in there, do you see how it's just kind of a it's not, it's not really pointy. It's more like just an oval. Mm. So you can kind of round that one around like that. Okay? And now I, I can put my, the rest of the arm on there like this. Okay? And they do have a neat little um, slanted joint like this. Okay? What we're going to do is... I'm going to address the background, and then I'm going to come back. Actually, no, I'll put some, some red on there first. Okay, so what did I do? I did this. Oops, I did this one. Um, because what I want to do, I'm going to use a little bit of water-soluble oil pastels from my background because I can kind of color them in and then kind of use a little water. And that's, water is, oh, it, it, a water, um, Water medium. What am I saying? Uh, I don't know what you're saying. Something to do with a, 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 a medium media that you 
use is water. Yeah. Water based. Yeah, water based is uh is a nice effect when you're ha when you're representing water. And I don't want it to be white. I'm, if you're gonna have a white, you go for it. But I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put do this. Uh, let's do this tail. But what I what I'm saying is I'm gonna put the red on there, and then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna add um the dark um elements in there. Okay. And I'm also I'm gonna do the reds now. I'm gonna do the water after I do the red. Okay, so just, just ignore me. Okay. All right, so I want to put my tail on there. Um, I don't know if I can fit it. It's not really very much sticking out on either side. So I can probably, in this one, I can probably add it on right down here. So you just have it, it rounds like this. And what happens is there's a piece that goes like this, and then they go like this. It looks kind of like that. Okay, um, on this one I don't have enough room, so I'm going to change it, and I'm going to put the tail more like here. Okay, and so in a way what I'll probably do is bring one of these rings up a little bit higher so that I can adjust where the, where the body is. Okay, so let's put a little red on there. Don't go crazy. Oh, oh and I want a little here too. Um, because I think you might want to use a little other, co another color with it. Okay. Even whether you're using chalk pastels, oil pastels, crayons, colored pencils. If you're doing colored pencils, just color, 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 color your little heart out because it's never enough. You always need more colored pencils. Yes. Yeah. It, it, I remember drawing and sitting and I actually I think I had mono my senior year in high school and I was taking a drawing class at UMaine and um, I was doing a plant um, I want to say it's called a prayer plant it's a beautiful plant with these pur pink purpley stripes you know house plant that and and what was funny is that I would, it took so long to work on it that while I worked on it, it moved with the lighting and stuff. But I worked on it, I colored it, I colored my colored pencils. And then um, when I brought it to the teacher, he was like, oh yeah, that's okay, but take it home and color it again. And it was like, I probably colored it for hours at that point anyway, and I had to color it again. So very quickly I decided that colored pencils was not my way of doing something. Because it just, I wanted to get a little bit more action a little bit faster. Just kind of my ammo. Okay, so I don't forget, I want to use, um, I want to do the legs. Okay, and the, the one, one thing I want you to see about them is they're pretty long. And they do get a little skinnier out at the end. The smaller ones on the lower down, they're a little skinnier. If you're really observant, then do that. If you just, like, don't care, don't worry about it. But what I think I might do is I'm going to do one, two, three, four pieces like that. Okay, and then they have a short piece. This one just kind of goes up. But there, there's a shorter joint, and then there's a like a pincher joint or whatever. Too bad that Becky couldn't be here and give us special fun facts. Because again, I wanted to, and then I ran out of time. All right, and then I want to do the same thing over here. These are going up a little bit. Just do the whole thing and then I'll do the background. I'm not really sure. Usually I think that's what I normally do. I do, do a lobster with my summer art camp kids a lot. Pretty straight up. How's that? Okay. Looks good. All right. day here in Oral Maine. 60 degrees. We're ready to get on bathing suits. So. Yep. Bring out the pool. Yeah. Yeah. If it were when you kids were little, you'd be like, 
Slip and slide, slip and slide. I do like a slip and slide. Yeah, but you know what? It's the water. Even in the dead of summer, the water so is cold. so cold coming out of a hose that it's, it's really that hard It's that first second where the water's in the hose and it's heated up and yeah. it's so warm and yeah. it just turns to ice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It wouldn't hard be you'd be out probably on a day like this when you were little and just be like, I'm so I'm so hot. Can't we use the slip and slide? And I'm like, all right. <laughs> Get it out. Suffer through that one. Okay. Yeah, I've decided I'm just going to do my background at the end because uh, it's going to make my paper all wet and, and I'm concerned about that issue. Okay. Whoops. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the black accents on here and then probably what I'll do is maybe take a light yellow and I will um, maybe put in a few of the highlight the highlights and then um, maybe I'll push it put a little bit more red in here or something because why not right make it really dense um so then I'm gonna grab this little guy oh do I have them in hand oh. um I thought I had bigger ones oh well okay oh oh don't let me forget the antennas okay okay so let's start right on the on the body first and foremost we need a couple of eyes right so they're right out here they're kind of weird shaped a little bit. I might put a little black on here at the end, but okay. And we also need, he has these little feeler kind of pointy things right here. You might want that for being really authentic. All right, and then um, we'll come around the side of him a little bit. And he has an extra sort of, um, division on his body here. Okay, kind of like that. Maybe a little, I'm using a dark brown, a cool dark brown for this instead of black. And like I said, I might add a little bit of black at the end, but I don't need everything I do just to be, just because it's dark, doesn't have to be black. You could use purple, you could use dark blue. I don't think there's only a certain number of these little things here, but maybe there are, but um, they are a little different. If you're a little more observant, you might notice that at the bottom, um, it kind of it kind of shapes a little bit more like a V, and there's a little bit more of a curve down here, and then they kind of straighten out. Um, if you just want to make them go straight across, seems like there's nothing wrong with that. All right. All right. All right. We got through the hardest part. Okay. All right, like that. And like this. Yeah, I might put a little black on those wings of those. Love it. Everybody getting that? Yep. All right. Um, what else is going on? It's gonna rain. Not today, though. Oh, you know what I wish would happen? I wish we'd get a little more snow. <laughs> I'm really just not all right. <laughs> You know, Don't even say that. Don't just, even joke about little, that, Val. Just a little more. You know. It's just not for funny. Time's sake. I don't want to rush warm, sunny, good weather. Not you know, we'll funny. get so bored with it. No? Alright. I'm the kind of person that has to... Go, I don't really go out in the sun... Unless I'm at my favorite place in the world, which is Popham Beach. You don't go out in the sun? I don't go out in the sun until four. Mm. I aim for three, but I usually don't make it till four. On summer days, a lot of times, because it's just too bright for me. It's too, too strong a sun for my pale Yankee skin. You don't have that problem on Daphne, right? <laughs> <laughs> I just gotta go out sometimes. 
Yeah, it's a class. I mean, it's not happening this year, but on a day like this, um, on a normal year, <laughs> you would see all the college students out Myself. skipping class and, you know, like with no, hardly any clothes on. And then Outside the just frats. It's by, yeah, by afternoon, and you could even see from 100 yards the pink flesh. And they're drunk, and they're just going to wake up tomorrow with not only a wicked hangover, but... A burn. A but burn. That's a bad burn combo. like a lobster, right? Lobster skin. All right, so we're putting a little on the claws. We want to add, and we want to think a little bit about how we can accent this little joint here a little bit. Okay, a little bit in the elbow. Give them a little shape. Because they're not exactly right. You do as much as you see, but this is the thing, is that even though we made a simple shape, if as I'm coming along now with my darker color, I can kind of, you know, adjust that shape. I mean, I'm not going to get it right the first time. If all I did was just sketch it out, that would be fine, and, and it wouldn't matter. But if I want to fine-tune it, um, that's part of what drawing is. You know, you're not necessarily going to, like, just lay everything out perfectly the first time, but you... Um, no, of course you're not. I mean, I don't know who does that. Not me. I guess some people. Or some people who don't want to admit that it wasn't exactly what they wanted because they can't say they were wrong, so. Okay. All right. So I love it when you post your pictures, share them with me. Makes me very, very happy. You don't have to post them if you don't want other people to see, but I, I guarantee people will be excited. Other people besides me will be glad to see. So you can always do that on my Facebook page or on my Messenger. All right. Um, that's good for that. And let's do a little bit with the leg. So, so we're going to hit up where they have the joint in them. They're in three pieces. I know because I like to eat them. <laughs> More good. Is Becky a vegetarian? Yep. She's not. Okay. Becky is a girl that grew up here in Orno, but she has worked um, on in the um, well, in the research department with lobsters in the summer, right? Yeah, well, not this but not, um, summer. Is, that's not what she did in, uh, no, no. in Florida, though, is it? Was it lobsters down there no. or something else? No. Because they don't have the same kind. Nope. They okay, don't. so I like, I like what I've got here. I'm going to take my um, bowl, this, this really, really warm yellow, almost orange, and what I do is I kind of squint at my picture, and I'm looking to see. It's a little darker down here, but there's some lighter bits up in here. Nothing too fancy, but if I put a little of this on that red, it just brings it up a little bit, right? right. So it's all you have to do. I mean, it has, in some cases, people will make it super shiny and, like, very carefully lay that out. But, you know, you can do have a, an effect of... Um, you know, the turn of the body just by changing the colors a little bit, you know, getting too extreme about it. So mm, if I put a little highlight extreme. running right down the middle of it like this, that'll be good. A little here, a little bit there. And, okay, and then I'm also, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm also going to take a different shade of red. I mean, I guess this is kind of overkill. I mean, if you're, in, if a lot of you might be done. So, that's okay. And if, you know, say maybe you're a parent and you're working with your kids and they're drawing and maybe your kid is little, like, I mean, I work with three four-year-olds, mostly four-year-olds. Rare, I mean, rarely do I take a three-year-old, but sometimes I have at the Montessori school. Um, just let them do it. Don't feel like... I, it's sometimes you can fix a kid's picture with one, one change, and it will go from what is that to like, 
Oh, that's really cool. Um, wow, what an amazing job. But you know what? You can never go back and have your kid draw a lobster at the age of four or five or seven. You can never go back. They can never do it the way they did it at that age. And um, it's worth grabbing... And, and once in a while, you know, and, and not every time are they even going to concentrate, they might not care, but once in a while they're going to follow along, it's going to speak to them, and they'll be able to do something, and you'll, and you'll have it forever. And, but you can't go back. You can't, if you fix it for them, if you do little things to it, it just loses that innocence and that, um, like, oh, the honesty that, that a kid, you know, does at that age. And people will think that I fix kids' pictures. My kid didn't draw that. It's like, if you have come in and you see me with a table full of ten, you know, kids between the age of, you know, five and nine, at one table all jammed in there, and if you think I can draw everybody's picture, you would have a much higher, well, what is it? Expectations? Or you you think I can do a lot more than I can because I can't possibly do that. So I don't fix people's fix their pictures. They can just do it. And they will learn it too after a while. Just um they learn the process just like you just like an adult learns it, right? Yeah. Alright, so I've got that. I'm good to go. It's very tempting, very, very tempting to want to fix them. But don't. Don't do it. Let it go. Let it go. And also, they don't like it either. Especially if they're pretty good, you know, if they have any, they care about it, they aren't going to want to think that they have to make it the way you want it to. Sometimes that's a tricky thing at like a birthday party. When the parents stick around, they get a little competitive about helping their kids get their pictures done. And sometimes it doesn't make anybody happy. All right, so I've got my lobster on here. This is what I'm going to do real quick. I've got... Becky says she's doing the lobster research I mean again this summer. Oh, fantastic. Oh, good. She's going to be here. Wait a minute. Did somebody take my blue like this? No, but I got one. From um, out of the bucket? Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm going to take this green. I'm going to put this on here. Like I said, this is a water-soluble pastel. Hopefully. And my other pastels aren't. They're just regular oil pastels. So hopefully I can spread the water on here and it's going to stay away from the lobster. But it's going to, um, be, I can fill it in right up close to everything. I'm going to use a little green and I'm going to use a little bit of blue because are you sure this is the right one? Maybe it's this one. It was something I cleaned off. Maybe it's oh, that's this it one? right here. This mm -hmm. is it. And um, if you want to make a really great teal color, which of course, I'm always looking for an opportunity to do that. Um, green, light green and, and aqua will make a great, great teal color. And this would be gr a great thing to do with... Um, your watercolor pencils or something like that too because you'll get a watery obviously look to the background and that will be neat. I mean I can leave it like this too if I want but I'm going to take the um, so I take kind of an old stubby brush it's probably going to get water all over my guy down below but and all you do is take this and like I said I can go right up right up next to my or over the edges of the lobster and it will be fine. So there's all kinds of, um, I think this might actually be the 40th class I've done this spring. Wow. So, um, you know, party. And if you want to try something else out, if this wasn't your thing, or maybe you loved it so much, you, there's more animals, lots of animals. There's a butterfly if you like a little bit of different kind of animals. And there's houses and people and what else? Um, a couple dogs. still lifes. There's some tulips and there's some. What did we do yesterday? A windmill. Um, a windmill. Yeah. A we landscapes. did a guy walking a dog. 
some figures, some faces, a queen. Apparently, this is the crazy thing on my on my YouTube page. I can see like the viewings, mm -hmm. which you know, of course, is debatable. But um, <laughs> the lemur picture, which is like maybe the third one that I did, has I want to say 150 views. And I mean, overall, it's a little over 400. And it's just like on one day on the graph, I saw it was like on one, like April 9th, it's like shoots way up. So I don't know whether somebody played it on repeat and that like would went, be to, went to bed or something. I don't have any idea how it could have happened. Because usually it doesn't tally. I have known this from your um, your goal video is that even when you watch it over and over again yourself they don't tally that so I have no idea like whether a group of people all just decided I mean, it's just bizarre it's a good one though super cute wasn't it it was yeah. fun maybe it was like national lemur day I have no idea, and I don't know whether April 9th was... I don't think that's when we did it. I think we did it way back in March, right in the middle yeah. of March. So I don't know what happened on April. See how that works? All right. Um, tomorrow... Tomorrow we're going to camp, up to camp, with Bob Miley. That's not going to work, so I'm going to stick on there. I'm going to put that like that. By, with this nice, it's a picture taken from a guy named Jamie Capitan, I guess. I don't know. He, oh, awesome. Go check him out. He's really, really great. I love these sketches. But I, I, I took out a little bit of stuff because there's a lot going on. But everybody seems to like practicing making a three-dimensional house, so we're going to do that. And if you want to leave me a donation, you can go to ValerieWallaceFineArts.com on the ticket page, and you can leave us uh, um, a donation there. And... Also on Venmo at Valerie Wallace-9. And um, thank you so much for joining. And I will um, give you a close-up of the lobster so you can, you know, do your do your final final tuning. Hey! Look at oh, Dennis is drawing again. Hi Veronica. Hey Kia. Susan. And Becky's outside. Oh my mother-in-law is watching. Hey Vicky. <laughs> Vicky eats lobster. Hey, Max. Hey, Arlene. Does this one turn the right way for you? There's the camp. There we go. Well, all right, thank you so much. Try to be a nice person and, and take care of yourself.